Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene. Once again, we're going to start a new project. I was goofing around with a block of wood like this, wondering what I could make out of it for Thanksgiving. And since it's Thanksgiving now, it's 2014, it's November 27th. Uh, it's been a while, I think a couple months since I've done a video. I haven't done that much because of all the things happening here at the farm and with my family this past year. But uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here. And this is what we're going to create. We're going to do a little turkey sitting on a pumpkin. And as you can see, it has a lot of um, detail to it. And um, the detail is done with a little V-tool. I'm going to revamp this a little bit. Uh, this was like a practice run for me. I, I don't like the, the pumpkin being so long. I just happen to have that piece of lumber. So this one will be just a tad bit shorter. Let me give you the block um, dimensions here. It is three and one quarter inch long with the grain running this way. Okay. And it's one and a half. Uh, let's see. I'll do it better so you can see it. One and a half by one and a half square. So the first thing I did was I kind of measured how long the turkey was here. I want the turkey to be about the same length, maybe, uh, as I have on that one there. So that one would be just a, two inches, okay? So measure two inches all the way across and put your line all the way around. How I do my lines, I often rest my piece on my block and get the one line in, and then I can do all the lines the same way all the way around. That way you don't need, need a ruler, so just rest your finger against it. Take your take your pencil over, and then you can do it exactly the same on every on every side. So once you have that done, we kind of have to figure out how tall the the body is on the turkey. So uh, I'd rather go a little taller sometimes than too short, but that looks about right. So you put a little mark there, and let's see how far that is for folks that like to have dimensions. It's just about a half an inch down. Alright. And about, no, oh, maybe seven eighths from the side when I bring this little thing down like this. The other thing we have to determine is the, we're going to work off the, the corner. So we're going to have to put a line across. And I, I did it a little bit behind that uh, because we want this. We actually want it the width of, actually let's go this way, to straight across from the corner to corner. Okay, let's skip that other section there. Alright, so we're ready to start carving. The first thing I did on this piece, I wanted to make sure I got the feathering out first. So I'm going to take my trusty little Murphy knife, I, all our my students use a Murphy knife, and I'm just going to start scooping out around the head here. And I'm going to just keep going here. And now there are going to be times where I'm going to get off camera because there's going to be a lot more cutting to do and I need to be able to hang on to it a little bit better um, than with the camera in front of me. Um, but the other thing I also do um, and I'm going to do here is I have a huge bottle of this mixture of the, of the water and rubbing alcohol, the 70%. You want to hit it with that if you like. Remember, if you do too much on the end grain, meaning the very the end grain is the the ends here. They call that the end grain. It will soak it up a lot quicker than on the sides. Um, what you want to remember, though, is don't overdo it because it can check and it can crack on you while it's drying. So that is the risk you take when you do it that way. So we're just going to keep going like this. Now on the back side, I kind of have his his uh, little butt back there, so that actually comes down a little further. Let's bring this down a little bit more. All right, we're going to just make a little give us a guideline where things should go. All right, so let me see what I need here. Well, let me tell you how far down I went on that. That's about an inch down. Okay, so. So you're going to just take it and start chopping away and start 
Now this is a lot of cutting because we're doing it straight from a block. Now if you want to, you can probably cut some of this on a bandsaw and then cut it, but I like doing everything from a block. Uh, I think there's a lot of things you can do with a block. As you can tell, we can do all kinds of Santas. We can do all kinds of um, all kinds of projects with this idea. And I like it because it makes you think how you can fit things into a block. And people are amazed that you can just use a block to get things, you know, get things moving and taken care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going here. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start rounding this top off a little bit. You can tell it's it's rounded at the top. So I'm just going to take the corners off a little bit. I'm going to leave my line there so I have a way to go. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to push down at the corner. And this is the side, okay? This is the front. This is the side. And I'm just going to come down like this. All right? You can do it from both sides. Once you have that middle line done, you can kind of... And see how I'm pushing my knife into it? I'm not doing this. I had a couple of students doing this with, you know, that's the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to put your knife over the cut, over the line. Take your, take your thumb, push down with your thumb, and rock it a bit. And that way you can get a nice beginning on a on a cut. It just is a lot safer. Don't forget to put your gloves on and your thumb guard on as you start this project. Put your carving glove and thumb tape. A lot of us are going to the tape now. Which uh, We've gotten a lot of new people joining us here on Facebook and on uh, YouTube and I thank you for joining me. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, so we kind of have it rounded. You can see how much we need to cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rounding this out offline, and I'll come down a little bit. We're going to kind of follow this, um, follow this around a little bit more. Get it, kind of follow our lines. We'll make that more distinct later. Uh, but right now we're just trying to shape it up a little bit. Try to give it now. The other thing is, uh, we need to cut a lot more here. So I'm going to go ahead and start chopping most of this out offline, and then we'll be back. So what you want to do is just stay within the... When you drew your line up here, you're going to just kind of bring this down a little bit on either side to give you a guideline, okay? You don't want to go past that. All right, we'll be back in a little bit.